We are developing robotic prosthetic hand and software platform to enhance control of all robotic prosthesis. That's a product for people without hands. There are 5 million people without hands in the world and 300,000 installations uh, a year. And 99% of all users got hands with no functions or with one function. It can only open close grip. We are going to replace them with multifunctional robotic hand and connect all robotic processes to the same software platform to enhance their control. The market today is like uh, the automotive industry. Existing players don't have software products. They are slow in software transformation and we are the only one focused on signal processing and IoT. Our hand is faster in control because it recognizes situations and helps to choose the right grip in advance. Also, it has much more precise detection of muscle activity. It detects activation of exact muscle and activation of big group of muscle, which is usual, usual on the market. That gives us up to 10 times more commands for control. Now we have users, two users, four more till February, 60 are in the waiting list. We have clinics, six LOIs from prosthetic clinics, negotiated tests with the biggest net of prosthetic clinic in the US, US is our main market, and pilots in the US in February. And we have a staff team for now. We plan, uh, we plan to prove reliability of product by beta test. We are in beta test right now to get letters of intent 200 for 200 devices a year, $18,000 per each, and to register in the FDA list, which is simplified for our case because the product is the first place of risk. In, we are the team of 10 for today, eight engineers, with great expertise in mechatronics and movable machinery and IoT architecture. I'm a medical doctor and serial entrepreneur. We have uh, got the first investment in August for, to come to the US. And uh, in June, we will have next investment round to expand faster in the US. So thank you for attention. Let's keep in touch. If you would like to get updates about us, write us. Thank you.